It is Christmas in September. Welcome to my first FC25 video. After many months of news and talking about the things we want in the game, we're finally here. We've reached the start of a new cycle. Today I'm going to be playing FC25. We're going to play a match. We're also going to check out Rush, the Practice Arena, Volta as well. And I guess tomorrow I'll be playing Manager Career Mode. We'll take a look at all that and then we'll do player crew mode. There's a lot of videos still to come, so make sure you are subscribed right now. First thing we need to do is obviously download the latest squads if there is a squad update. Let's see if there is. Yes, there is. So we'll just do that very quickly. And we need to take a look at the graphics modes because this year there's two. So we've got enhanced visuals, which will provide enhanced lighting, adding ray traced, ambient occlusion, and additional graphical features by adjusting resolution. And then there's also the favor resolution. This mode provides standard lighting without additional graphical features and only adjusts resolution during cutscenes. Both modes target 60 FPS, but I'm going to leave it on enhanced visuals today because I want to see all the nice graphical updates. We've got the wind effect setting, which we need to turn on. Low means it's only going to have a minor effect on the ball during gameplay. Medium means that the wind speed will range from calm to medium. And then high means that the wind will have a significant impact on ball movement when it travels long distances in the air. We have to leave it on high. And then we've got weather effects here as well. If you turn it on, the weather will impact the ball and players. The commentary team is still Derek Ray and Stuart Robson and Guy Mowbray and Sue Smith. Another good setting that's finally arrived is the watch full match intro setting. We finally got this setting from EA. And with this setting, you can put it to never, which means you'll never get the pre-match cinematics. And then you've got always, which means that the game will always generate the pre-game intro and match cinematics. Let's go to create a player because I want to take a look at the new EA Cranium technology. So there's a look at some players here. Let's do something like this first and then I'll just press the sculpt button and let's make it more wider. So this is the new technology this year and you can change a lot of different things. Let's go to upper forehead. Just playing around with it at the moment, not trying to create something that's accurate or anything like that. There's so many customization options here. You can sculpt the nose, the cheeks, the skull. And there's the mouth as well. We've got something with the jaw, upper teeth. At least the players smile in FC25. If we press the triangle again, that takes us to advanced sculpt, which means you can unlock extra little details here. So things like flesh and fat as well. So definitely play around with this. We're in the practice arena now. Let's see if they've done anything to this. I don't think they have, but you can do your standard 1v1s. You have the free kick practice match camera difficulty. I wish we could change the teams from here, but it looks like they haven't really done much to the practice arena this year. I think it's pretty much the same as FC24. The home menu is similar to FC24. Maybe they've refreshed the animations that play in the background. In terms of like the menu features, it's got all the standard, you know, rows, the modes and all that kind of stuff. Kickoff menu has been refreshed a little bit. They've got a new design so you can do the classic match. Then you hit the bumpers to go to different modes here. So there's the house rule stuff, 3v3. Then we've got Champions League, so you can do the women's and men's. The Copa Libertadores, Cup Finals, Home and Away, Best of Series. Still got the same team selection screen, I guess. We need to check one thing here. I don't like the look of this. Inter Milan is generic. AC Milan is also generic. I believe this could be Volta Football. I'm going to load this up, 3v3. Because even though they've taken Volta out of the game, I think you can still play a 3v3 match that has a Volta setting. And there you go, yes. So I guess we're playing a steel cage match and it looks like Volta, even though it's been mostly removed, there's still a little bit of life left in the mode. You can still play a 3v3. I have to be honest, this gameplay already feels so slippery. The players feel like they're just skating on ice. One thing I want to try out now is the new rush mode. We'll do Real Madrid versus Newcastle United. So we've got Mbappe, Vinny Jr, Valverde and Bellingham and Courtois in goal. Look at that. So this is the mode that replaces Volta. It's got a smaller field. And some new mechanics as well. Look at this. Oh my goodness. All right, let's go. This feels like a basketball game. It's so quick. Definitely end-to-end -end gameplay. And of course, it's a smaller field, so you notice that straight away as well. It's going to be incorporated into career mode and ultimate team. So I think a few people will definitely play it. Me personally, I would have preferred beach soccer. A nice beach soccer mode would have been better. I guess there's always next year for that. But here's Vinny Jr. Gonna take it in his stride. Oh my goodness. A crunching challenge. And Courtois comes out. And it's a miss. So here's Mbappe. Here we go. Turn on that turbo. Mbappe throw on goal. And the keeper with the save. So I think speed is going to help in this uh, rush mode. The faster you play is the better. That's a bad pass. Why did he pass it straight to me? Vinny Jr. with the finish. There's the goal. Can we do two player celebrations? I think we can. Yep. I can definitely see myself using this for my crew mode youth team. I don't know if I would play this mode 
you know, over and over with different clubs like Barcelona, Real Madrid and all that kind of stuff in kickoff mode. But I would definitely play it in career mode with the youth players. But I can see that it's a little bit of fun. It's quick. It might be fun with your mates as well. Mbappe plays it across to Valverde and there's the goal again. But I think you guys get the point. We'll stop playing rush now. Let's play a classic match here. I have to be Manchester United and I guess we'll verse Man City. I'm going to take a look at team management now because we've got the FC IQ system, of course. I haven't really spent time learning this system yet. This is basically the first 20 minutes of me experiencing FC 25. If you want to start a new tactic, it's there. If you want to use a code from somebody else, you can as well to import a tactic. So we've got tactical preset, which is going to do most of the work for you if you can't be bothered, you know, micromanaging. Build-up style can be counter, balanced, short passing. Defensive approach can also be changed as well. We've got the player roles feature now, so let's take a look at this. So we've got Rashford there, and let's see if I change that to like advanced forward or target forward. You can see the green tiles light up. That's where the player is mostly going to be on the pitch. So we'll do advanced forward there. I'm just mucking around here. I'm still trying to learn this feature. You definitely need to take some time to get familiar with player roles and the tactics and all that. There's also new corner kick instructions you can set up. So you can do a target player. You can do a near post target player and also a back post target player. It's time to play the game as Triple H would say. So let's hit the start button and let's see how we go. First game on FC25. And I can't wait to watch those match intros again. And let's see what happens. Are we going to get the full-on match intro? I think we are. Finally, after so long. Oh, beautiful. You love to see it. It's beautiful. It's probably something you're going to start skipping after two games in career mode anyway. But it's good to have the setting where you can turn it on fully or turn it off. You need that setting there because some people like to watch this. Some people get bored. We do have the enhanced visuals on. So you can see the jerseys are moving. We can finally watch the players shaking hands once again. And we've also got the lineup graphics that come up as well. So it's definitely returned in all its glory. All right, here we go. Let's play FC25. To me, it feels the same already. You know, it feels the same as FC24. I don't know if I'm supposed to notice anything different. It feels like iPhone 16 Pro versus iPhone 15 Pro. Rashford lays it off to Bruno Fernandes. I don't know what happened there. He was half asleep. De Bruyne. And there you go. There's the first goal. FC25 is already smashing me after 10 minutes. To me, it feels like I'm playing a very similar game to last year, FC24. Where's my uh, defense? What happened to my defense, man? I thought FC IQ was going to help me play better. They've even lowered my difficulty because they think I'm a terrible player. De Bruyne. And we had to foul him. Doku. is going to score no. Anana with the save. Harlan picks it up. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh my goodness. Wow. We are getting pumped on professional difficulty. There's this new feature called Highlighter Replay, which is basically the replay feeder, but taken to the next level. So I'll take a look at this goal that we just conceded in the replay. And you can change the replay camera angle on the fly as you're watching it. If we press the square, we get some creator tools. And of course, you can scrub the timeline and it all works very quickly in real time. There's no lag or anything like that. And you can just basically slow-mo it with the triangle button. So there you go. You can watch it in slow-mo. Press regular. It speeds up once again. If I press the R1, it takes me to creator tools. I can change even the filters. So there you go. I can put different filters on there. And also different effects as well, like highlights, contrast. And you just use your right analog stick for that. So definitely a cool feature. Good for those creators out there. If we press L3, we can do photo mode, where we can zoom in and take a photo. And there's different filters and camera effects. Here's Bruno Fernandes. We definitely need to wake up. I'm getting embarrassed on my first day. Oh, Rashford's done well. Xerxy. Oh, how did he miss? Oh my goodness. Now we're on semi-pro difficulty after that miss. Even the game's like, how did you stuff that chance up? It tells you how the wind's going. As you can see, it says wind 32 kilometers. In-game tactics. Okay, this is another new feature I forgot about already. So we can do different substitutions and it's going to offer some suggestions as well. You can do your offside traps. So yeah, just play around and press the different um, D-pad buttons to unlock those settings. Casemiro to Bruno Fernandes. We need to score. We need to get off this semi-pro difficulty. It's embarrassing. Xerxy with the finish. There we go. Yeah, I haven't noticed anything in regards to the FC IQ, the player roles and all that. I don't know, man. Was it a big gimmick? Maybe I haven't set it up properly. It's definitely something I need to play around with, but it feels like I'm playing FC 24. Maybe a little bit of a difference here and there, but overall very similar. If I didn't know this game was FC25, if I didn't have the new kits and updated rosters and all that, it would feel pretty much the same. 
Bruno Fernandes up to Xerxes, who turns, and the ref plays for halftime. Are you kidding me? I was about to score. These refs, once again, match-fixing. They haven't changed since FC24. All right, let's go to team management. This FC IQ, I haven't noticed anything, to be honest. I really haven't. I might be doing something wrong here. I guess maybe we'll change a player role. So Rashford, can you be more of an inside forward for me? And Garnacho can also do the same thing. Xerxes. Oh, he's turned him. We've got to score here. Let's play it across. Oh my goodness, how? Oh my goodness, what is going on? Oh my goodness, Edison's slide tackling us. What is going on, man? Calm down, FC25. I'm noticing a very aggressive AI, even on lower difficulties. And I'm also noticing a bit more in terms of new animations and stuff like that. Garnacho turns. Here we go. Got a score here. Thank you very much. Can we up the difficulty now, EA, please? All right, we've gone up to professional difficulty again. Thank you, EA. So we're going to try and do a sub, maybe. So I'll use the D-pad. And it's suggesting Hoyland for Xerxes. So we'll request that. Very simple. You don't even have to um, pause the game to do subs. Difficulty has gone back to semi-pro. Why are they changing it? Xerxes, Bruno Fernandez, and up. Xerxes once again. Oh, my goodness. How did he miss? We've got some skid marks on the grass there, as you can see in the bottom left. I do notice the wind effects. I notice that when you cross the ball... When the ball goes up in the air, it definitely looks a little bit different now. Rashford, what kind of through ball was that? So let me know if you're getting FC25. Let me know if you're skipping the game. Let me know if you're going to be playing the early access through the EA Play trial. I guess if you're on the fence about buying this game, see if you can try it out on the EA Play subscription and then just make your mind up from there. Like I said, to me, it does feel very similar on the field at least. I guess it's going to come down to... The new features in the game modes, of course. I'm definitely excited to play career mode tomorrow. Here's Mainu. Can we score one more goal? Chips it over the top. Bruno Fernandes is not going to get there. But the ball is going to stay in play. Here we go. Got a score here. Beautiful. There we go. Last minute winner. Finally, the 90th minute scripting works in my favor. I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you leave a like and remember to subscribe. And hit the thumbnail in the middle to watch another FC25 video.